weather is terrible. It's terrible. Getting pounded good here in West Palm or in uh, Palm Beach. Had a horrible mishap last night. My anchor line broke from the high winds and waves. And while I was asleep, the darn thing drifted all the way up to the dock at the fuel dock at Sailfish Marina. I just happened to pop my head up out of there and and boy, I, I lost it totally. I was like, what the heck? But so at any rate, I'm trying to use my Bruce anchor, which has been dragging and dragging. I lost my Danforth anchor, the chain, and a good section of rope. So, we definitely went the bust from here on out. Who knows what's going to happen. But man, I'm getting my butt kicked here. And I've only got one good anchor to hold. So it's tough, it's tough. Hello everybody watching to the keys or bust. Man, we got busted last night hard. Anchor line snapped. I drifted out through the inlet while I was asleep. Biggest fear, you know. <laughs> there it is. So I lost my anchor. Nice section of chain. And I'm using my brand new Danforth anchor. And it, it is dragging. I'm telling you, I've, I've got 100 feet of anchor line out. I keep putting out more and more. You know, I started with like 60 feet. More, I got 100 feet out. I'm slowly dragging. I'm, I'm just terrified, you know, that it's it's going to let loose and I'm going to go either into one of these boats in the anchorage or the way the wind's blowing, I'll hit the police station. <laughs> They're a marine unit. <laughs> but at any rate, you know, it's really disheartening, you know, because you're away from all your support, you know, your friends, your family. You know, they could run and get you a chain and an anchor and meet you at the dock, you know, but as it is, you're all alone out here. This is what it looks like out there. It's rough. <laughs> There's three foot swells coming through here. They're mostly from those darn giant boats that have gone through here. There's the police station right there. That's prevailing wind maybe you don't know the tide might have something to say about it but my anchor line busts or I start really dragging hard anchor <laughs> there's a lot of other boats too I keep getting closer to this catamaran here kind of keeping my eye on that yeah <laughs> I'm getting bounced good, real good. I'm, uh, well, we got bust, you know, so we could turn back, right? I don't want to. Somehow I've got to get another anchor, and I got to get some chain, maybe some new rope continue on there's a lot more pesky bridges I think I've got about 27 or 28 restricted bridges to go through that only open at a certain time of day you know and you gotta sit there in the wind and current and wait for them to open if you don't time it just right and, you know it's kind of hard when you're only be able to move five six miles an hour so Right now I'm getting my butt kicked out here and uh, your humble narrator and star is is scared, you know. It's hard to, to think if you can go to sleep. It's hard to get any rest at all, you know, because you, you keep jumping up every time a big wake comes through here. These people in this town, they got way too much money. There are so many 200 foot yachts going up and down behind me out there at full speed and they're throwing 
you know, five foot wake, by the time it gets here, it's a, you know, a good three foot, four foot ground swell. And no fun at all. Hopefully they'll calm down by nighttime. But at any rate, you know, I'm still hanging in there. <laughs> hanging by one crappy anchor. So don't buy one of those Bruce anchors. That's what I'm, I'm putting out now. And it, it doesn't work. It's, it's not holding for crap. I think that it's very slowly dragging towards that catamaran behind me. I'm really keeping my eye on it as it's pouring down rain out there. The, the waves are, and chop are really coming through. So it's still, you know, keys are bust if I can get some supplies. Hopefully tomorrow it'll be calm. I'm, I'm afraid to leave the boat. You know, what if I leave the boat and the anchor drags again it drifts off somewhere maybe I'll try to find a place that you know I can tie up for a day or something one of these transient docks be super expensive here in Palm Beach but but you know I could go further but you know the more farther you go I think the more expensive it gets oh well hang in there everybody don't miss the next episode <laughs> Peace out.